Sports cars and SUVs may drive a lot of the car conversation amongst enthusiasts, but no vehicle brings out the practical forms of surprise, delight, and innovation like minivans. Honda's all-new Odyssey is chock full of features in tech that you probably won't expect, and it still has the things that you've come to rely upon. How does it look? Take everything you've heard me say about recent Honda styling, enlarge it by 50%, and you've got the new Odyssey shape. The busy body sides, big wheels, and bold front graphics come together to form a polarizing whole, though it'd be tough to argue that this isn't a modern look. How's the storage? Now, for your day-to-day -day needs, Honda has created a really wide, deep well of space behind the third row of seats, and that's gonna be great for things like strollers, groceries, or luggage. But occasionally you need more room, so thankfully we've got these magic seats which easily pull down, make a flat load floor, and open up most of the back. As you might expect, the Odyssey is a treasure trove of places to put your stuff and your things. My cup holder count is 12, with every seat and every row well accounted for. Up front, there's a shallow bin on the floor for a variety of bags and a drawer for more secure storage. And if you start to look around the sides of the interior, you'll find stash spaces aplenty. Is it roomy? As a tall guy, I have loads of space both behind the steering wheel and in the passenger seat. In the second row, minivan power users are gonna find a few things to love. Number one are these configurable magic slide seats that let you adjust each of the captain's chairs either towards the center or out to the door. Not only does this allow you to control the range between two kiddos, but it also allows for especially generous access to the also roomy third row. There are a lot of features in the new Odyssey, but this is the car's killer app for sure. How does the interior feel? So from the moment I sit down in this cabin, I really notice two things. One is that Honda is definitely pushing the sporty minivan vibe. I've got paddle shifters on the steering wheel and I've got a sport button on the transmission. Beyond that, I'm just sitting quite low in the vehicle, so it feels a little bit more like I'm in a sedan than an actual van. The other overall impression is just that this is where Honda's at in terms of interior design, a little bit of a tech-first appeal. Is it well equipped? The Elite trim comes with just about everything you could want or ask for in a minivan. It looks posh with big 19-inch wheels and leather-trimmed interior. There are also heated and vented front seats and a heated steering wheel for those cold mornings. The remote start will help you there too. And lest you forget, the Honda Vac has your back for the spilled Cheerios and animal crackers that into every life must fall. How's the infotainment system? The infotainment touchscreen and software are fine but not spectacular for everyday use, though everyone is happy to see a physical volume knob again. Still, techies are in good hands here. There's a wireless charging mat, also just a nice place to rest your phone, even if it's not charging, and access to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The kids get a rear entertainment screen that will play Blu-rays and DVDs, plus a few baked-in games, and a neat Are We There Yet program for long trips. I really like two new features called Cabin Watch and Cabin Talk, too. The first uses a rear-facing camera to check on the little ones, or rowdy big ones, I guess, while the second uses a mic in front and a speaker in back to amplify your best dad's mad voice. I gotta turn this van around! Is it a good daily driver?
Yeah, the short answer is yes, this is a good daily driver, and there are three really big reasons why. Number one is the Odyssey is pretty quiet, and that happens both on the highway, there's not a lot of wind noise, and even around town on these bad roads where we're not getting a lot of impact noise from the tires. The second thing that most minivan daily drivers are going to appreciate is just a nice compliant suspension. Thankfully, Honda hasn't made it really soft like maybe one of those old minivans you grew up driving, but it still really irons out the road. So third and probably most important is the car seems very safe. What could be more important when you've got your children, your brood, the scions to your empire back there, than making sure that you're not gonna hit anything. If you do, there are a ton of airbags around to keep everybody safe. I mean, seriously, there are lots of good active safety features here too. There's lane sensing, there is radar cruise control, uh, there's emergency braking, and there are lots of items that are gonna keep me from hitting the guy in front of me should I not pay attention. Is it fun to drive? Relative to other minivans, the Odyssey is kind of fun to drive. It's got 282 horsepower, really direct steering, and I guess I can shift through 10 gears on an automatic transmission by way of these paddle shifters, so that's good. You're not gonna have a lot of high G thrills throwing this big car into a corner, but you might not be totally bored when making the normal grocery run. How's the fuel economy? Again, we've got a 10 speed transmission here that helps Honda get to 28 miles per gallon highway, 19 in the city, and 22 combined. The only minivan that clearly trumps those numbers is the Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid. How much is it? Uh, how much do you have set aside in that kid's college fund? I'm only partially joking. The Odyssey starts at about 30 grand, which is on par for the segment. But the pre-tax price of our loaded up Elite van is $47,610. So you really might want to open up a family lemonade stand or something. What are the negatives? So setting aside the surprising and rising cost of minivans in general, there's actually not a lot that I dislike about the Odyssey. More important is that the Chrysler Pacifica, which is also very, very good, is probably a little bit better looking and worthy of your attention. Who should buy it? People who are willing to just settle down and admit that minivans are the optimal conveyance for families really need to take a look at the Honda Odyssey. Yeah, SUVs are popular, but do you really need to use that four-wheel drive all the time, Dad? Hey guys, you've done it. You've watched yet another Why Buy. We really appreciate it. If you have questions or comments, like you, Blake Swan, I know that you have comments, leave them down below. We love to interact with you down there. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate it. And we've got new videos for you to check out every Thursday.